Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled "The Power of Love: A Master Sacrifice, Part One of Five on Between Master and Disciples," given in English on December sixteenth, two thousand eighteen, in Shihu, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. This is the eyes reading glasses. Oh no! Okay, check out my luck. Another one. Oh, it's empty. Ah,、uh, thank you very much. <laughs> I forgot my glasses. You know the ones that protect a little bit. I need recovery. Okay, sometimes. I mean, most of the time, I need recovery. Can you hear very well? Yes. yes. Okay, now it's better, maybe. <laughs> My God, I'm only a spiritual teacher, okay? But I don't know. I have to do everything from A to Z. This is really tiring. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I am complaining, okay? <laughs> I, my God, from early morning already five o'clock, they begin their schedule of wrenching my nerves every day. Okay. But this is my fault, okay? I'm complaining, but it's my fault. <laughs> Nobody can help me because that is the the price, okay? The price. Before you come down here, you want to help the world, not just your disciples. Maybe you want to help the world. There's a big, 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 long, endless list of tortures, and you have to sign it. If you agree to it, then you can. But every day, sometimes it's really too much. Of course, when you sign it, you are in heaven. You don't feel a thing, or maybe you know it. You know it all, but it's different. You understand? When you go down, <laughs> it's different. Every day is almost like hell. <laughs> They send only hell people to come. They don't send good people. That's a problem. I mean, nearby. Okay. I'm willing to do it. <laughs> I'm still happy that I can. It's just sometimes so tiring. <sighs> yes, I'm Master, so tired. Master, we love you. Master. Thank you. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm just telling you in case you want to be a master. Okay. Oh, please don't. <laughs> I don't want anybody to suffer anymore. So you guys, whoever is already initiated, take good care of yourselves. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I will have a successor. I already told you a long time ago, a few years ago. Yeah, if I die, no successor because I don't have the heart to really push anybody down the the cliff. Not on purpose. <laughs> Not on my watch. That's why I say no. Yeah, <laughs> you're laughing, <laughs> laughing and crying. <laughs> you funny girl. <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> because it's true, master. <laughs> it's true. Everything that you're saying is true. It's true. How do you know? You did it with love, and you sacrificed yourself for us, and you in pain, and I feel it. You can feel、and、it. I, that's oh, that's bad. I, Don't feel it. Cut it. Cut it. Lock that's it. That's why I'm crying. <laughs> But it's okay. okay. It's just okay. in case you want to be a master, okay? <laughs> Please. Don't just jump out and say, "Oh, man, I'm already on the seventh level." And somebody told me that a few years ago. And the other one, "Oh, on the eighth level." I said, "Of course, of course, you are. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seventh and eighth in hell." <laughs> <laughs> Because if you are master, you don't really know. You don't know. You don't know that you're master. Because. Is a part of the contract. You know nothing. You only know whatever heaven tells you, and shows to you. But you can't feel it. Sometimes I'm sad, nah. I don't always 
pretend to be always happy to to suffer. Okay, everyday physical suffering or mental or whatever, and you don't even know. Okay, until the heaven told me, okay, it's enough. I should change somebody else <laughs> for another type of suffering. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, a little different for a change of taste. They say a change is as good as a rest, right? <laughs> so they give me a rest. So I say, why? You have other suffering programs? <laughs> and why does this one have to change? He say, oh, she, she's still on the hell level. It takes a few more months until she can come up to the astral level, thanks to your grace. It's better to let her go. <laughs> I said, well, thank you. Why didn't you tell me before? They say, oh, time was not up. <laughs> time was not up yet. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. So I just have to laugh sometimes. Sometimes I'm sad, you know, not because of all this suffering on a daily basis. It's sad because sometimes I'm thinking of how free I was or how free I would have been, how free I could be. You know what I mean? How free. How free just not doing anything, just take care of yourself, meditate diligently, and the world will kind of benefit anyhow, you know, indirectly and slowly. Yeah, as your pace and you don't have to worry so much about anything. You don't even have to admonish anybody and offend anybody or any government or any big VIP and don't have to worry about your security and your life, nothing. Yeah, you take your five, six, eight, nine generations up and whoever, a little bit of your friend's circle, and you're happy. Every day is like heaven. Just like how most of you feel after initiation. That is the way. Okay. But unluckily, I have signed a contract. Signed a contract with the devil. Believe that or not? <laughs> yeah, sometimes people, if they curse you, they say, oh, you... You you are contracted with the devil or something like that. I am the one who did that too, okay? But not for any bad things. You have to exchange. Sometimes I'm sad because I could fly in the air any time I wanted. I could go through walls. Yes, I could be invisible. I could protect myself any time with all the power that I had or have. But I'm not allowed to use You got what I'm saying? I'm really sad. Because this kind of magic power you don't even owe to the astral level. Most magic power you owe to the astral level. Okay? So therefore I ask you not to use magical power. The power that I have, the magical power I have, is not from the astral. Uh, Taiwan do you find it? How how do you say it? I said, I don't know why I came now, I just talk English. <laughs> because I see you guys, black, white, yellow, red. <laughs> black, white, yellow, red, the four races. And somebody in between. Uh, yeah. But the power I have is not from the astral level, it's inherent. Okay, in my being, in a higher being, yes. And I could do all that. I could uh, point at the dead and make them walk and alive again. All this kind of power I had to relinquish. Everything that makes you a dignified master, a dignified being, a tranquil, peaceful, you know, look like a saintly being, you have to relinquish. All your power, the mighty power that you have, you can wheel mountains, empty the sea, everything. You must relinquish. Even an ordinary master has to relinquish. They don't have that many, of course, but they still have to relinquish everything they have, including knowing the past, the present, the future, and bringing peace into the world just at the blink of your eyes. Everything you have to relinquish. And then you have to be just like an ordinary human. And everything you are using is only from inside, that you should not even know it. <laughs> Just like Jesus said, you give from the right hand, don't let the left hand know it. Something like that. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Of course you can see, you can know all that. It's just that not like in the physical dimension, okay? 
if you want to know whatever you have lost or whatever you have relinquished, then you go up and have a look. And sometimes you go up, you look, and you come down, you feel very sad. Because in some situations, you wish you could just walk through walls and disappear for a while. Yeah. The most regretful power I don't have, I can't use, is the flying, the invisibility, the walking through all kinds of stones and walls, not just walls, any kind, through trees, walking down through the earth and come up the other end. And uh, what else of did I have? I forgot a long time, no use. <laughs> there were four that I'm most regretful. I had it in my diary somewhere just to look at it sometimes and shed tears, feeling so helpless, so powerless, so weak outside, not inside. Yeah. Mm, let me remember what I open all kinds of closures. For example, you lock the door three, four, ten times, I can just break it and go out. That is, if I didn't have you, the dear children, you're really dear. <laughs> I mean, you cost me not just money, but spiritual power a lot. It's not that I uh, am not willing to give, it's just sometimes I feel sad feel so helpless, you know, because sometimes I'm in a real situation of danger. I could use one of them to survive another day without having so much trouble and uh, without having to use too much strategy to escape. And even sometimes I might not be able to escape, like our Lord Jesus, yeah? He could do all that also, but He couldn't. He had to surrender to his traumatic fate. And that is why sometimes I feel sad. I don't just feel sad for myself. Sometimes I remember all the masters of the past had to sacrifice so much. They had to suffer so much because they had to relinquish all the treasure they had. They had to come down with nothing. Mostly come down in poor circumstances or in war or in ravaged area to elevate that country or that area as well, already from birth. It's not like when you grow up and you become so-called consciously enlightened and then you can help others. No, no, no. It's already beginning in the womb of your mother. The moment you come down into this world, no matter what way, you know, either borrowing the body like I did, or the soul had already gone to heaven back to the fifth level, and then I borrowed the already useless body, yeah? Most masters, they just came at birth, okay? When the body was already out, yes. But not all masters. Some, it depends on the contract with the devil, okay? Again, <laughs> with the maya, we call them. In Western terminology, they call him the devil, yeah? Yeah, in... Uh, 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 Sanskrit, they are more polite. They say, Maya. <laughs> it sounds very soft, <laughs> gentle. We even had a Maya civilization in Central America somewhere which was very glorious. So whenever I say the word Maya, I have to think a little bit whether or not I should say it. I don't mean that Maya civilization, okay? <laughs> I mean Satan, the Maya, <laughs> the devil. Okay, so that's what we do. Were there any other masters who came down to earth who also never took normal birth to help humankind? Did they? You mean borrow the body instead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, Did there are some. There are some. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. But I can't remember all the names right now, okay? Thank you, Master. <laughs> I say most masters came down without, yeah, but some do, yeah. It depends on the contract, <laughs> depends on what you sign <laughs> before you come down. It's not a signing with a pen, it's just a, <laughs> maybe a handshake with the devil. Ah, yeah, this is what you have to do. Are you okay with that? <laughs> of course you're okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You have to be okay. There's no choice. This is their realm, okay, the Maya's realm, the created realm, the shadow world. And we have to do accordingly, yes? 
that is a problem because it has been established already. There's no way we can get away with that. Okay, but I did not come down to tell you this. I don't know why. I told you all this. I don't know why. Ah, oh, I noticed something. Uh, that I want to tell you. <laughs> and then they harassed me over there, <laughs> not deliberately, but habitually, and I forgot something better than the devil and my <laughs> contract. <laughs> I did not really. It just came out. My it's God. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. You forgive me? Okay. Thank you, my love. <laughs> she says, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Why is it so okay? Everything comes from you. Everything that comes from you is okay? Everything that comes from you is okay? <laughs> All right, thank you for being so kind. <laughs>